nothing. They've had a lot of snow in this town. Oh my goodness, the trees are so pretty here. I don't know what town this is, but... It sure is cute. It sure is pretty with the white snow. It's certainly been an interesting part of the drive. Going through the Black Hills with ice and snow in the Class A. A little bit scary. I've been running in manual on my second year doing 30 miles an hour pulling these hills right now. So I'm hoping we're about out of it right now. And it's, man, Woo. there we go. I shifted it down into third, finally. We made it. We're here at Elkhorn Ridge, South Dakota. What a beautiful winter wonderland. morning we are waking up to our first morning here in South Dakota at Elkhorn Ridge RV Resort and this is what we came into last night they have as you can see a ton of snow here and most of the sites are not even plowed out but we got here and Mike Wagner from Wondering Wagner's actually uh, met us at the gate and led us back which was nice because uh, I guess he said the way they had on the map, it made more sense to come in the way he took us in. And we hung out with the Wagners last night. Had some uh, hamburgers and uh, hung out, caught up since the last time we seen each other. And played some games. We played uh, Game That Song. Talked about this game before. It's a pretty fun little game. And uh, we ended up ringing in the new year on Eastern Standard Time. Not mountain time because we're old and we get tired easily so <laughs> we we hit the sack at 10 p.m last night or just after 10 p.m you ran with this so i hope it doesn't spill over oh god i didn't run very quick Woo! i'm a gentle runner tell me when promise not to stop when you say when okay when <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're only two minutes and five seconds late <laughs> And no one right. knows though. No, no one knows. Editing. Not in South Dakota. <laughs> all right. Now technically we haven't reached Mine's midnight yet. All foam. Cheers. All right. Ready? Oh, you, you gotta, gotta play that. You gotta yeah. play first. Oh, yeah. Oh. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Cheers. 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 We might have partook in a little bit too much champagne last night. At least I did. Well, we are definitely getting to see the snow now here at the Camp Red. I haven't seen good snow like this since we went in 2019 to the Grand Canyon. Snow is a little crunchy. We are getting ready to head to Mount Rushmore. You are a hot mess right now. Look at your legs. Oh my goodness. She's like, let me in the Bronco. She says, it's cold. We are leaving the campground right now to head to Mount Rushmore. This, this has been a bucket list item for me for a long time. And we finally have made it here. The campground here is a white winter wonderland. It is so much snow, so much more than we expected. It's so pretty. It is, definitely, now, for sure. If we can just figure out how to get out of the campground. As I said earlier, I followed Mike back into the our spot last night, so I'm a little, little turned around. Okay, there's the exit. Keystone. This is, yeah, I believe this is a little town of Keystone where if you're familiar with a Little House on the Prairie, this is where Carrie Ingalls, I guess, and her husband ended up settling. Carrie was the was the baby girl. She was the youngest, yeah. Yeah. And interesting fact, if you didn't know, it was her husband that named Mount Rushmore. <laughs>
So we just left Mount Rushmore, and while we're here, we're gonna check out Crazy Horse Monument. If you've never heard of it, it is a carving of Crazy Horse. Yep, our Sioux Native American. It was actually more expensive here than it was at Mount Rushmore. Yep. Yeah, it was $10 at Mount Rushmore for parking, and here it was $12 a person, uh, I think $30 maximum per car load. We're here, we definitely wanna check it out mm -hmm. and see what it has to offer here. So we're pulling into the parking area now, but straight ahead, you can see. So the museum here at the Crazy Horse uh, Mountain Monument is quite massive. You could definitely spend quite a lot of time in here uh, going through all the stuff they have in the museum. And it's pretty interesting to see how on certain parts in there, sh they show you how the progress is coming along on this carving. It's gonna be cool when it's done. And as you can see here, this is a scale model of what it's gonna look like when it's done. Wow. Wow. So apparently, we're seeing here, you can take a piece of rock home if you mm -hmm. leave a donation. Rock from Crazy Horse. Wish. Yeah. So you don't have to, but time appropriate to do that. Yeah. Allie's inside. She's uh, picking up a souvenir sticker for our sticker board. We sure have gotten a lot of stickers for our trip this time. So she's uh, picking up one for Crazy Horse. And I guess we're going to head back to the campground and get ready for a New Year's Day meal. And we are entering Deadwood. Such a cute town, what we've seen so far. Yep. We're planning on coming back to Deadwood tomorrow and checking out the town. Yeah. Potatoes and the turkey I gotta cut into. And here's the Coke right here. Hi. Who did you all that? You away all day while we were I did, Rushmore. you guys were out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're out playing. Oh, how yummy. Mm, mm, mm. You know, people have asked what's so great about RVing, and I guess it's because you can be in South Dakota eating a uh, Thanksgiving meal on New Year's Day with people from Florida. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> well, we are going downtown to Deadwood. We've been actually re-watching the series of Deadwood and now I'm really interested in being able to see where Wild Bill <laughs> passed away, where he got shot. We're gonna go check out that bar and several other historical places. Yep. Not sure, but I'm assuming that's Calamity Jane. Take a seat, Allie. Sit down with her. Have a drink with her. Cheers. Whoops, I almost spilled your drink. It's gonna be hard to chase this line holding the camera. So how's he gonna slam it? Well, I like the taste. It's a big show. How was your German beer in an old west town? <laughs> or German liquor? It's always good. <laughs> it's my favorite. Good grief. Are you feeling it? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Is it the stairs or is it the <laughs> It's a shot. <laughs> my goodness. Okay. One card in. You... Cash out. <laughs> cash, cash, cash out already. Bet one credit. You got two credits. A spin. Oh my god, you won. You won something. Cash, five dollars. You just won five dollars. Cash, Cash out. out. Cash, Cash out. out. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, you won five bucks, babe. I got five bucks. You took one dollar and turned it into five. I've got 
Do that like 500 more times. That I won four bucks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nobody ever accused you of not being a teacher and good with math. <laughs> yep. Come on, come on. Oh, you got two dollars. Isn't that mean, brother? Credit, one dollar, you sir. Oh, yep. Wah, wah, wah. I told you. Because I got. What'd you win? Nothing. Nothing. I think she had like something. We got the same thing that we had. Lynn and I are losers. <laughs> you got two of the same and won. The same one. And you had two of the same and lost. I don't understand. I know. Oh gosh. I won! Yeah, it made a happy noise. I won my box! Cash out! Did, did, did you see, like, this one? It was in the it middle. Went, it and it back. Went, it went up. Wow! <laughs> well, we're trying to get up to the cemetery. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's going up there. He's, he's going to do it. Oh my gosh. I'm a little scared to do that, not going to lie. Oh my gosh. We're doing this? I don't think I want to do this, babe. I don't want to do it. No, it's right here. We're here. This is the entrance right here. Yeah, but it looks like it's on a hill. They flared this up here. This is cemetery right here. We have arrived at Wild Bill Hickok's grave. You can see this uh, stone uh, wow. monument here, or bronze monument. And we're going to be checking out Wild Bill and Calamity Jane. So we just visited the graves of Wild Bill Hickok and Calamity Jane. Now we're going to go try to find Seth Bullock's. I'm going to say one thing. Allie's back down at the bottom. I wish I was there with her right now. <laughs> it sounds easier though. Well, it'll be slick, but it'll be easier oh, on your, your body. This is not an easy hike, folks. I'm telling you, in the snow, especially. Wow. This is uh, not a hike that you can do if you are <laughs> in any way lung compromised. <laughs> but I'm glad we finally made it. Well, we are heading back to the RV. We had a really good time in Deadwood. We went to... Um, well, first off, we did some shopping, yeah. Yeah, we went shopping and got a couple shirts. Then went to Saloon 10, wasn't it? Yeah. That's where well, we, Kyle Bell's chair was, where he got shot, the chair he was sitting in. Which was not the original Saloon 10. The original Saloon 10 is here, but it was closed, so we didn't go into it. But we did go into, like Ali said, the Slow 10 now, and that's where they have more of the museum stuff of Wild Bill Hickok. We had lunch there, we had several shots, and we won $10 for Woo! slots. We used that money to turn around and buy more shots. <laughs> I have never played a slot machine before. That's Neither funny. is Ali. She puts a dollar in, she wins $5. And Lynn put in a dollar, did not win. Mike put Mike in a dollar? Did not win. I put Chuck in a dollar? Won. won. We ended up buying Lynn a shot of tequila. 
But we are now heading back. We are gonna rest up a little bit and have some leftover food, some of Len's yummy food. Yeah, it's tiny little mug. Yeah, it's kind of cute. Your little finger sticks in there. <laughs> My new shot glass. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. Now it's time for Cards Against Humanity. Yeah. Gah. It's like black licorice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's really not that bad. No, it's not. I don't need a chaser. Is it your bedtime, Piper? Don't when you talk to her. Yeah, don't talk to her because <laughs> then she's going to be more paying attention. Mm -hmm. This morning we are up early and we are getting ready to head to Devil's Tower. It got quite it got quite cold last night. I mean, we got ice on the window. The Bronco is pretty iced up out there. So I'm going to go out and get it started up, get it warmed up. And we're going to make the about hour drive it is or so over to Wyoming. We're heading back to Wyoming because Devil's Tower is in Wyoming, but it's only about 60 some miles from where we're at right now. So it won't be too bad. But first things first, somebody needs to go out and potty before we hit the road, don't they? Somebody stayed up late last night and is tired. Well, we just got through seeing Devil's Tower. We did not pay to go into the actual national park. We just figured we could see it so well from the road. Was it really worth us, you know, going in with Nikki since it's not pet friendly on the trails? And it's $15 a person. So I thought, you know, maybe we could save that money and use it when we're going into town to Montana here. Yeah, so that's uh, that's our goal. We, uh, we enjoyed Devil's Tower driving around, looking at it, and getting a few pictures. But now we're heading uh, to Montana because we're only we were only like 35 miles away from Montana. There's we wanted to hit another state we've never been to before. And there's a saloon up here that Mike Wagner was telling us about that we've uh, put in the GPS that's taken us to that uh, we're gonna try. We're gonna do a couple shots maybe. It's kind of early in the morning, but. Yeah, they yeah. open at 10. So if they open at 10, I'm assuming they think that people can drink at 10. Exactly. So, I mean, it's technically, <laughs> it's uh, it's 10.30 here, but it's 12.30 back home. So we're still living on Eastern Standard Time. That's true. And if they have food, which I hope they do, because I'm getting hungry, we're going to have some food while we're there. And hopefully it's pet friendly. Super close. I think this is a I sign right I think that's a sign. Yep. Montana. Woohoo! We are in... Montana. One more state. Checking off the bucket list. The destination is on your right. Stoneville Saloon. Well, we just got finished having some lunch and some adult beverages at this Stone, saloon. Stoneville Saloon. Yep, Stoneville. It says cheap drinks, lousy food. And I'm telling you, it was not lousy. No, it was one of the best cheeseburgers I've had on this whole trip. Honestly. I told I told the lady that actually made our food. I said, this is the best chicken sandwich I think I've ever had in my life. And she finally cracked a smile. <laughs> yeah, when we first walked in, it was a little, uh, it was a little kind of, we were a little nervous because we were the only ones there. They just opened at 11 a.m. I felt a little uncomfortable. We walked she in. Very quiet. We were the only people there. She was the only one working. We walked in. She was like, would you like anything to drink? And I said, Jaeger. Do you have Jaeger? She's like, yes. I said, two shots of Jaeger. So we had that. And then we ordered some food. She brought us our food and she said, you want anything else to drink? Chuck finally got his Coors Light because he'd been wanting Coors since we were in- Like three states too late. Colorado, but we just kept forgetting to get it. So we, we got it then. But yeah, it was just a little, it was a little, uh... We were a little nervous because we were the only ones there and we definitely felt like uh, out-of-towners, you might say. Oh yeah, major out-of-towners. This uh, bar, <laughs> this this saloon was definitely a hole-in-the-wall place. It was not touristy. It was the real deal, people. Oh this yeah. This was the real deal. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we are back in Wyoming and wow, it is a fog bank here. It actually spits snow a little bit. But we're gonna have to be kind of careful driving back to Deadwood because we're driving in the cloud right now, as you can see. And it is very, visibility is very low right now. And I'm worried that ice might form on the roads. So we're gonna have to be very careful heading back. Well, this is something we have not done in I don't know how long, uh, is use a bath shower house at a campground. 
But our pipes are frozen again, and they're not gonna unfreeze. They didn't unfreeze today. So we're making the long trip, starting the long trip back home tomorrow. So tonight I'm using the shower house here and taking advantage of it, and it will take me a nice long hot shower. Well, we are packing up here in South Dakota at the Elk Ridge. Yep, at Elkhorn Ridge RV Resort. Mike and Lynn have already left this morning. It's a little sad. Yeah, sad. We wake up and we see an empty RV site next to us. I don't know. It's always a little sad when we uh, camp, especially when we camp with people and friends that we don't see very often, to say goodbye. But uh, it's always a little bit sad when we have one of these nice long trips that uh, is coming to an end and we're going to be heading back, back home. We've had a great time here, that's for sure. And it is really cold and it is foggy and it looks like it might have even like, I don't know, I guess that's frost on the trees this morning. But our next stop, we're stopping at Wall Drug, which is only about 90 miles from here on our way back home. We're gonna check that out. We've always wanted to see it. I know it's kind of touristy gimmicky, but uh, that's something we like too. So we're gonna do that. And we're gonna see how far we can make it tonight. All right, it's time to do one last walk around, make sure everything is secured. We are hooked up and we are ready to hit the road towards home. Have to, everything here is good, good. We are hooked up. We don't want to go home. We love this campground. We love this area. <sighs> don't love the 16 degree weather so much, but do you love the snow? It's nice having slide toppers this time and not having to worry about ice on top of our slide getting into the uh, rig as we've had in the past. All right, our next stop is Waldrug, South Dakota. Goodbye, Deadwood. Man, it's absolutely beautiful today, like a typical winter wonderland. Well, we are leaving Elkhorn Ridge RV Park for the long, long, long drive home. What a great time here. We are here at Wall. We're gonna check out the Wall Drug Store. We have hit the wall. <laughs> here we are, we're pulling into Wall Drug. Oh, yeah. The ice water store. This is well done. <laughs> Traveler's Chapel. Hey, there's Dr. Feelgood. Oh, yeah. He's the one they call Dr. Feelgood. He's the one that makes you feel all right. That's <laughs> him right there. So there's where that's is Dr. Feelgood right here. He looks like he feels good. <laughs> up there getting our five cent coffee. Five cent coffee. Yep. Let's see. And it's good. It tastes like my grandmother's coffee. Maxwell House? I don't know. It, just, it reminds me of my grandmother's coffee, the way she used to make it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're here at Wall Drug and we're having some lunch. And Nikki really likes it because she's allowed to come in here, even in the restaurant. And most dogs that are allowed in restaurants are service dogs. But she was able to come in. You asked. It was pretty cool. You asked first. I asked first, and they said, as long as your dog doesn't go up to other people. And I said, no, she won't do that. So hmm. She got some french fries. She's like, I want to go up to other people and just say hi. But and she's not. <laughs> she's got crumbs on her face. <laughs> so we just finished off our meal. 
feel yeah, pretty good. The five cent coffee is good. Yeah, but it's not waking me up though. It's, I feel a nap coming on. Well, you've got a whole thing of Diet Coke. Hopefully that'll help. <laughs> yeah, got me a souvenir cup. So it's only five dollars for whatever the Coke was and two cups of coffee. Obviously, the coffee's coffee was ten cents, so most of it was the. What's the cup? Well, what did you think about Wall Jug? I loved it. You know, I expected it to be gimmicky, and it was a little bit gimmicky, but there was also a lot of cool artwork and. You know, just cool stuff in there, carvings and statues and, you know, animals. And I liked it. It was fun. I wish we could have seen the other side and seen the T-Rex, but that side was closed off. Back to the road. Back to the road home. Whew, we are tired. We put in a 650 mile day yesterday, along with stopping at Wall Drug. Today, we're gonna try for a 700 mile day. And, uh, maybe even a little bit more than 700 miles, maybe closer to 800 miles. And if that's the case, we can probably make it home in three days instead of the four day journey that we were talking about. We're gonna just see how it goes. I'd like to make it home, have a day to rest. Home for the night. And we're going in to get some Cracker Barrel dinner. We have stopped for the night in Clarksville, Tennessee. I know we got Cracker Barrel, our favorite. We love stopping at Cracker Barrel, eating Cracker Barrel, and overnighting at Cracker Barrel. <laughs> and but shopping at Cracker Barrel. If you look at that clock on the wall right back there, we started at 5.30 this morning. It is now 8.30 here, right? Yeah. Because we haven't set it back. Yeah, that's about... Eight. Yeah. Oh, it's a little after eight. Yeah. Yeah, a little after eight. Eight ten. So we've had a uh, fourteen-hour day, right? Pretty much. And it's guess what? It's tired. Guess what? We got another one tomorrow. Yeah, we do. <laughs> so we're just north of Tennessee. Another whole day at it. We may or may not make it home tomorrow, but if we do, we will have made it from South Dakota to Florida in three days. Okay. One last check of everything this morning before we get ready to hit the road for home. We got 756 miles today if we can make it. If not, we may end up in North Florida or maybe even Bass Pro Shops in Gainesville, which is a couple, two and a half hours or so from home. But uh, ready for another long day of driving. Right, Nikki? 4,292 miles on this trip alone, averaging 7.3 miles to the gallon for the whole trip and spending 86 hours in this RV driving or with it sitting on at some stops. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs>